will show you how to do the actual editing in something we call Page Builder. Now, I installed Page Builder for you in the very beginning of this entire process so we could allow you to do exactly what you're about to do now, which is do simple management changes and so on, exactly like what you're asking to do here instead of paying hourly, right? So uh, here is how uh, Page Builder works. It's very simple. One side window over here on the right side, you'll notice we have the actual page and on the left is what it looks like in WordPress. Now, the boxes that you see, this first box here represents this content right here. For you to edit that content, simply go into the box, click edit, and then the window pops up with the content. You'll notice there are two tabs, but as you already know HTML, you'll know that these are just simply heading tags. It's no big deal, right? So if you need to do any changes in there, just change the heading tags and, you know, work at will. Very simple. Now, the important ones, though, is where these links are right here. Now, all of these were done with a bulleted list HTML, and I added a link. It's really, uh, you know, nothing fancy. I, I tried not to do short code here because I had a feeling that you guys would change this, and uh, thank goodness I was right. So, uh, say, for instance, Angola is the... Uh, one that we're looking at here. What we would do is notice the four boxes here. These four areas is exactly represented. So let's go and start with Angola. Let's just say that Angola needed to be edited. You would go into edit, which is this box right here, the first box. And then here is Angola right here. Now you can do two things. One, you can make changes right here if you wish by simply going in and typing in whatever it is you're going to type, right? Uh, this is the visual editor, uh, works pretty well, uh, which is right where we are right now, but I personally like the HTML version because you're able to actually see what's going on, any code base that's been applied, any styles that have been applied. So I'll leave that up to you for you to decide. But you'll see here that, you know, each one of these is just simply a bulleted list with the link the color style, the, everything right here. And right now, say for instance, Belgium, see how simple that is? So if you wanted to be able to add an additional one, in my opinion, I think it's better this way, but you know, you can build it any way that you see fit, right? And so say for instance, uh, if we're going with the simplified version, let's go and build one right now for you so that way you can do it. I already put in Albania, right? Because I wanted you to see that you can add to the list. Now let's go in and take a look at what else there is. So there is Albania, and then Abu Dhabi, and then Angola, Argentina. Let me just see uh, which ones are missing here. So there's Argentina, okay, Armenia. All right, let's go do Armenia, right? So I'll go to the page, Armenia, right? And uh, let's put that right below uh let's put that right below argentina so here we go okay so watch how easy right enter right armenia a r m e n i a right and we're going to uh go in two ways two ways you can make a link right i like making the link uh through the system or you could just simply copy and paste it like going over here and just grabbing the link you know uh, and that's an easy way i suppose but uh, just so you don't make any mistakes, you could do this. Armenia, then go to insert link, type in the word Armenia here, and let it find it for you, right? So here, let me just highlight that again. Let me unlink it, and I'm going to do it again, right? So watch, highlight Armenia, click link, A-R-M, Right? And just look to see if we can find Armenia. Right? And it looks like it doesn't want to find it here. So hold on. Um, sorry, I'm putting it in the wrong box. Uh, so here's Armenia. There's the actual link. Ba-boom. And then we'll add the link. Kaboom. And now we have Armenia listed with everything else. And then we just continue going down the page. So after Armenia now, let's see what else is missing. Right? So we'll go select Armenia, Austria, uh, Australia, Austria, Azerbaijan. <laughs> so let's go and add that one, right? So 
let's go in. We'll grab that one, go to the page. And, it, and this is a good way also just to make sure that all the pages look consistent and are edited right and, you know, that kind of thing, right? So uh, let's say that goes under Austria. So uh, let's do that now. Right here, we'll click Enter and A, Z, E, R, B, A, J, N. And that's wonderful. And let's highlight that bugger and hit a link now. And we'll go into the search area, A, Z, whoops. And uh, let's find it in here, A, Z, E, R. Um, there we go. Beautiful. And click add link and then ba-bam, there it is. And then we just keep going on just like that. So the whole thing actually works just like that, you know, and oh, there is one other little catch, right? Uh, there are four rows here. And unfortunately, uh, to try to keep it balanced, I, I know this is going to sound a little crazy, but to keep it balanced, um, it was honestly the hardest part because there were so many of these just to kind of try to keep them level, right? So if you add three or four here, you may want to add three or four here. You see what I mean? And so on, just to keep these rows level. So that's kind of a kind of a, a little catch that you'll have to look into. But other than that, honestly, that's the way it works. So see here, Denmark, we go to the second row, which is this guy right here, right? And we click edit and see here's Denmark right up here, right? So what you can do, here's Denmark, just go to Visual Editor and you can do it this way. But remember, if you do it this way, then it's super easy. Then you can just simply just go ba-bam, copy the entire line, press Enter, pop in your line, line up your line and just for clean code, like so, and then put in your new name and a new address. Honestly, I love doing it that way, but it's entirely up to you. But that's pretty much the lesson. And if you run into any trouble, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll do another video for you. Cool? Thank you. Bye-bye.